Coach, overall thoughts on the game? Uh, no, I thought we uh, you know, came out probably a little too excited maybe because it's senior day or whatever. But, uh, you know, you're playing, you know, against Tommy Funk and Wilson, you know, two seniors that, that have been around and know how to win. Uh, so I thought we did, a, you know, as good a job as we could on them uh, today. Both games you guys have been able to tackle Funk pretty well. What was the plan there? Uh, just make it as hard as possible for him, you know, just be aware of where he is. Uh, try not to let other guys get off. Um, but he's a hard, he's so clever, he's so good with the ball, so smart. He makes you pay for any mistake. Uh, and he's a tough, tough kid. And Wilson, too. I mean, uh, just uh, two tough, tough guys, tough, great competitors, great players. Uh, and then, you know, they got shooters surrounding those two, so they, they make it hard on you. And despite the win, it seems like something with the transitions wasn't clicking. It took you a little bit to get set up on defense. What wasn't going right there? Uh, well, that, they're good at it. You know, they make a point of just, uh, you know, running the ball down your throat, make or miss as well, especially on makes. You know, you got to get back because they, they punch right back. Uh, so, you know, you don't see that a ton, you know, the way how well they do it. Uh, so it's hard to, you know, to replicate in practice. But, you know, at the end of the day, I thought we did a d decent enough job. Mike, how much was Wilson's struggles, what you guys were doing defensively versus him just having a really bad day and just missing a lot of shots that he normally makes? Yeah, I thought, you know, probably the latter because, I mean, watching him on tape, I mean, he's, he, uh, he, I can't tell if he's lefty or righty, you know, he like, uh, and he's, you know, 12 feet from the basket. It's not just uh, post moves. Um, so, you, and, but you need that throughout the course of the season. You know, you need a guy and a couple guys, you know, have a bad game. Um, or not a bad game, just miss some shots that they normally make. Um, so, but I thought our guys, you know, worked hard. And we, you know, we had a little bit to do with it. Uh, so it's probably a combination of both. How well is Stacy just feeling the game right now? He seems to be cutting at the exact right moments and getting the ball to make those plays at the end of possessions. How well, how is he doing yeah. that? Well, he's playing like an upperclassman. Um, he understands the game. He's been around. Uh, but you're right, he's bail he bailed our guys out by, you know, either cutting back door or, you know, cutting towards the guys that were in trouble in the lane. Um, and then just, you know, being savvy and keeping his dribble and, you know, finishing plays in the lane, making threes. Uh, he can do a lot of different things. Uh, and again, it's just keeping him, you know, to getting him to continue to be as aggressive as possible in every facet of the game. You know, Mark and YY, I think, only combined for six rebounds today. Um, but you guys still won the rebounding battle due to you know, 27 combined rebounds from Jameer, Stacy, Saeed. Can you just talk a little bit about you know how aggressive they were on the boards and you know what made made them so successful down there? Um, yeah, well, I, th I mean, Mark and YY and Josh too. They do the heavy lifting. You know, they got to deal with uh, Wilson and guys like that down there. So we need other guys to get in and you know get the rebound. Um, so I th you know our centers have been doing that. Uh, I also think that they. They're helping, you know, helping on drives, and they make guys miss. And then we got to do a better job of cleaning those rebounds up. Uh, but the effort and energy level from everybody was, you know, was, was there today. It wasn't a big scoring day for Jameer, but he had a, a couple of feeds to Connor. Looked like he was seeing the floor better. Was, am I am I right about that? Absolutely, Did... absolutely. No, I mean that's one thing that he's adding to his game. I mean he, um, you know, he's obviously a, a, an elite shooter. Um, but, you know, the way we play, you know, requires you to do more, see more, um, and that's what he wanted. You know, that's why he's here. And we're, you know, we're, we're working on it on a daily basis. He's working on it. Uh, and I was just so happy that, you know, he's, he, he's a winner. And for him to make that play at the end of the half, most guys, they keep the dribble and they shoot it. He snaps it ahead, and he gets Connor a wide open shot. He threw it out to some guys, like you said. So he's... He's a worker, and he gets better. So um, I'm excited about his progress. Um, and, uh, what do you think of the way Connor played today, putting him in the front line? Uh, yeah, he was good. You know, he's just got to get in shape. You know, to be able to, you know, uh, play the whole game. Uh, but he's got again, good another guy, good instincts. You know, good skill level. Uh, got some steals, and you know, does a little bit of everything. So you know, he's been playing really well for us. So um, you know, I'm. And regardless of who we start, you know, I feel comfortable with throwing guys out there. Any thoughts on Loyola, Santi Aldama? Uh, well, they're just a, a completely different team than the, the Loyola we played at their place the first time. Uh, so, you know, just gotta, you know, keep, we just gotta keep improving. Just start thinking about what we're gonna do with them. Yeah, he's, you know, they're a good player, a good team. You know, they're they're gonna be tough.